all, let's give the Lord a great big Woo! shout tonight. Good, good evening, good evening. Are you guys alive or what? Wait, let me ask y'all a question. Has, has the last couple of days just been like... Is it, it just kind of just running? I don't know about y'all, but I've just been running. I got a witness back there in the back. Thank you so much. So, Chief, open us up in prayer. And you know, Bishop, there's just so much going on. The devil is just, he is having the biggest party right now. He is rejoicing because he's got this great United States of America worrying about some of the goofiest things. I had to and, agree. And, I and agree. handling them in the, in the worst way possible. Yeah. And he is rejoicing. I mean, today when I when I saw a, a news blast go out that a local high school was not going to play the national anthem at a pep rally because they were afraid it was going to cause some issues, that just totally blew my mind. And, of course, they reversed that decision a little bit later. Thank today, God. And they're going to do it. But what we've got to do is everybody has a right to express what they want to do you just have to choose the right platform and i choose this platform tonight to yes. denounce satan and tell him you are no good yes. here yes. you're not welcome yes. yes you will never be welcome and you will yeah. never be even recognized we don't care who you think you are yeah. you'll never be recognized in our arena father god we pray for america today yeah we pray for all races and all cultures we yes. pray for those people that have been affected by the storms yeah. everybody that feels like like they're being wrong father let them know that you are right yes there is but one right and it is you father god and we should seek you in all all of our anxieties and in all of our joys in the same tone yes. father that we should be just as excited yes. to let you be a part of our life whether we're on top of the hill or in the bottom of the dorm valley lord father god we just ask that you continue to lead god and direct us and show us that you are god so we will be there whenever you call on us to represent you, Father, and that you will be there whenever we call on you to stand for us. Father God, here at Miracle Place Church, you will yes. always be number one. You will never be any That's less right. than number one, and we will always yeah. honor you. We ask that you continue to just anoint Bishop Ricky Sinclair yes. as he leads these ministries and everybody that's associated with it, Father God. We just ask for your great peace yes. on our ministry, on our city, on our state, on our nation, and on our world, yes. Father. And we're going to be on our knees. We're going to be on our knees. We're going to be on our knees that's praying, right. praying, praying. We're going to fill up that prayer room back there. We're going to yes. we're going to give our time, Father. We're going to we're going to skip the TV for a couple hours and come to prayer room, even yes. if it's not church in a prayer room in our homes. Yes. We're going to we're going to skip something that's that we think's good for us and give it yes. to you, Father, and sacrifice because that's what this world needs today. Yes. If you want to see God move, you give up something yes. of yours. You make a sacrifice. He will yes. show you who he is. Father God, thank you for all you do for us. Yes. In your, and and we, we just pray all these things that we've asked for yes. in your precious son, Jesus' name, Lord. And we honor you today and every day. Yes, Amen. we do. Amen. Praise you, the Lord. Unity in this nation. Thank you, Lord. We're not the enemy. Our neighbor's not the enemy. The devil is the enemy. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to divide and conquer. That's his ministry. And so if he can divide us, he can conquer us. But Lord, we release peace. We release unity in this house, in every home that's here, every family that's represented, every person. We release your unity and your peace in this nation, Lord. God, in the NFL, we release your unity. We release your peace. We bind schism and division and, and um, being partial, racial. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we release the authority of God's kingdom. And we decree and declare that Jesus is Lord over the NFL. Jesus is Lord over the United States of America. Jesus is Lord over the world. He upholds the worlds in His hand. 
So, Lord, right now we bow to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and we give Him glory for this great nation, this United States of America, one nation under God. We give Him glory. Lord, we give You glory for this nation. We worship You, Lord. Our focus is You, Lord. It's not on another man or what he does or how he acts. Lord, it's on you. We're focused on you now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Come on, let's worship him. Focus on the Lord. He alone is worthy.
for some people tonight if our leaders would come forward right now we're going to pray for you
for you to come and have your 